Hi Illustrators, this is Rebecca and I'm going to show you how to create your padding with your black stroke around each of your stickers. So I have an artboard that is eight inches by five and a half inches with all three of my characters placed on it together. So this is all you're going to submit is a document that is eight by five and a half inches with just three characters on it together. Okay, so I have my characters separated into groups in my layers panel. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with my mantis. And I'm just going to expand this to make sure none of my um, objects are locked. I'm going to select this mantis and you would then uh, do command C to copy. And then I'm gonna create a new layer by clicking this little icon in the lower right corner that is the box with the plus in it. And then I'm gonna paste onto this new layer, command V, my second copy of my mantis and I'm gonna cover up my original, just lay him right on top. You can use your arrow keys to nudge him around if you need to. Now with this new mantis selected, I'm gonna go up to object, expand. Now he's already expanded, but usually you would see object expand appearance if, if your strokes and everything are not expanded and you would select that. So object expand appearance. You might get a pop-up window that says, do you wanna expand the strokes and the fill and you wanna select both of those and say, okay. So once he's expanded, go into the Pathfinder uh, tab and select the first option, which is Unite. If you don't see the Pathfinder tab, you can go to Window, Pathfinder. This information is also under Properties. You'll see a Pathfinder section. Same thing, first option, Unite. So I'm gonna click on that. And now all of my uh, paths have turned into one shape there. So I'm gonna go over here into my color area on my tools panel and click the default fill and stroke, which is a white fill with a black stroke. You can just hit D on your keyboard as a hotkey. Then I need to adjust my stroke. So I need my stroke panel up. If you don't have it, you can go to window stroke or you can select these three horizontal lines here if you see those. So for the weight of my stroke, I'm gonna change it to 15. You can manually type that in or you can hit this drop down menu and choose 15. And then here's the important part, go to align stroke and choose the outside, align stroke to outside options, this third run here. From here, I'm going to expand it again, object, expand appearance this time. And then one more time, I'm going to go to Pathfinder and unite again. And now I've got this even wider shape there. So one more time, I'm also gonna do the default fill and stroke or hit D on my keyboard. If I want this uh, black outline to be thinner, you can go into your stroke panel and just thin it out a little bit. The thinnest you want it to be is a half of a pixel. And now if I go back into my layers panel and I drop this below the original Mantis file, now I can see I have a nice big outline there with a nice thin black stroke around it. Um, yeah, so that's that. And you would go ahead and apply those to your other two characters and you're all set to go. Thank you.